Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some updated analysis inside of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's important that we know which direction these two are headed because these are the leaders of the market. Whatever way Bitcoin goes, Ethereum follows, and whatever way Ethereum goes, the altcoins follow. So today, we're going to be sharing with you guys some new analysis that is really, really important and is going to perfectly show where Bitcoin and Ethereum are headed over the next couple weeks. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys join the fastest growing and the very best Discord community in crypto. Over 20,000 members are growing. All you guys got to do to join is to click inside the description of this video and there you're going to find the invitation link to my Discord server. On the Discord server, I also offer my video course and signals. So if you guys want to follow every trade that I take, follow my entire long-term portfolio over this next cycle, then make sure you guys stay all the way to the end of this video because then I'm going to take a couple minutes to explain how you guys get signed up, the pros of doing so, and what it's going to take to get you guys going today. One final thought before we jump into the video is to make sure to download my ebook. This is going to be a study guide for new guys getting into the market that just want to understand some more of the ins and outs on how to be profitable. I've gone ahead and put a lot of information inside of this and I know it's going to help you guys out a lot, which is why you guys can go ahead and download that today. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off this video today by taking a look at Ethereum. I wanted to give you guys some thoughts and perspectives of just what I'm seeing right here. Then we're going to talk about some other things. Now, as it stands right now, guys, I just want to talk to you guys about the short time frame with Ethereum. And then we'll dive it back to the bigger time frames. Because it's looking pretty obvious that this is distribution. Um, we can see here that this is kind of like a rounded top formation. And I don't that's not really what the term is called, but I'm just pointing that out. We can see that we're getting this rounded top and we're getting a dump. This to me is bearish. I don't personally see this going up for continuation. It looks pretty weak um, based off the price action alone. And so based off of what it stands right now, I'm personally expecting that we're going to get this little sell off and we're most likely going to be coming back down to retest the previous all time highs. Now, this is a lot of people might it might catch a lot of people off guard. Um, but realistically, it's nothing that we haven't seen up to this point. I mean, let's just go over here and let's just compare it real quick. So when Bitcoin and well, this is the total market cap. When the total market cap first broke those all time highs, we ended up coming back down on support of those all time highs to consolidate for a little while before getting continuation. And so as it stands right now, I honestly think that we could be in that same exact situation where Ethereum is going to top out. It's going to come back down, retest this, and then we're going to get continuation um, after. So this is just as it stands right now. To me, it looks bearish on the short time frames. To me, it looks weak. Um, even though, you know, even though we've broke past all time highs, we never really got a retest of those all time highs. So, for example, what I'm talking about is here. Notice these two different sell offs that we had. We had the first sell off right here. This is when we first hit just under that all time high. We had these first couple sell offs. Then we pumped, retested the breakout point sold off again and then this was us kind of just consolidating right at this all-time high mark before we broke above it so in my opinion guys this all this consolidation and the sell-off that we got this was all happening before all-time highs we were below all-time highs as all of this consolidation was going on and it was this recent move here that saw us break the all-time highs right and so what i'm seeing right now this to me just looks like your classic example of distribution you start to see these little, this see how the candle bodies are just getting smaller and smaller and they're kind of just in the middle right here. We went from having this big long wick to this little one, littler, and now we're starting to get this red candle. This is uh, just your classic example of distribution. And I think it's looking pretty obvious that we are gonna get that sell off right here. We're gonna come back down and then, you know, like I said before, we'll kind of come back down and then we'll end up just breaking out and going up into new all-time highs again. And so overall, guys, even though we might see a sell-off, I don't think that this is a big reason to get and rush to the X's and sell everything that you have because at the end of the day, you know, this type of a correction is just going to provide a great buying opportunity. Um, it's looking like, you know, that'll be about 
15 to 20% correction. So we'll get a great opportunity to actually re-enter into this market. And so if you guys have made some profits, in my opinion, it's probably the smartest bet to just kind of take some of that, save some of that so you guys have some. Um, but with that, with that uh, in mind, understand that you don't want to take too many profits right now because we're still really early in things. Um, this sell-off would just be a retest of the previous all-time high. We'd chop around here for maybe four to six weeks, and then we'd be going into price discovery again. That's just what I'm seeing from my perspective. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about this with Ethereum. Let's actually talk about what we're seeing today inside of Bitcoin real quick so that we can just cover you know everything as it stands today. Now, what I see with Bitcoin... You know, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I think that Ethereum is looking more weak than anything. And that's uh, kind of why I've talked about the BTC dominance increasing about 7 to 9% over the next couple weeks. And it makes sense. You know, as it stands right now, Bitcoin looks like it has the most strength. But I'm going to be honest, I don't necessarily like how this looks either. Um, to me, it doesn't look that great. I mean, we do have some bearish divergence. Um, it's on the four hour and in my opinion, this isn't really enough for me to even say that this is a valid indicator, um, because I've seen patterns like this that break up too. And that's something we should understand here. Um, sometimes when we first break out and make a higher high, it'll kind of chop inside of these ranges and it'll look kind of like a rising wedge, but they'll still end up breaking up. And so this is still a potential I'm watching for. Um, by any means, you know, just because I think that Ethereum looks a little bit weak, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to drop and we have to go lower. You know, I just think that that's where it stands right now. Um, Ethereum looks a little bit more weak than Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin, Bitcoin could go either way, but I necessarily don't care for this setup either. You know, I just, I've been watching this the last couple of days and I just don't necessarily like how this looks. To me, and I could be wrong, to me, it just looks like we're going to end up selling below this. And, you know, it looks like a solid level to watch out for was just going to be 770 billion. This is the market cap chart. So basically like the previous high, we'll draw it here. I would say that this is a pretty solid level. And then you could even watch one down to about here, which would be about. So this one's going to be 700 and. Um, 12 billion and then this one the first one's going to be 764 billion not sure where 700 came from but yeah that's what i'm going to be watching out for with bitcoin um it just looks a little bit more like we're going to end up getting one more leg lower and because ethereum is looking a little bit more weak i think that that's kind of the leading indicator right now to be watching out for uh something else i want to talk to you guys about is the dollar index because i think that this is also a really important chart that we should be watching let's drop it to the 12 hour real quick and just cover some thoughts and perspectives with what I see right here. Now, as it stands, guys, we've been in this downtrend for a while. Um, I don't know exactly if we've broken it yet because there's a couple ways you can draw this. You can draw it from the top and you can go like this. In that case, it does look like we've managed to get a breakout above this, which in my opinion would mean that we get a little bit of a bounce back up before most likely coming back down. Um, or you can draw this a different way and just end up drawing it kind of like this. That's the thing about trend lines is it's very much like your own opinion. Uh, anybody can draw a trend line their own way, which is why I don't think that they're that important. Um, what I can say is it looks just like we're following the same type of patterns here. Right? It just looks like we keep making these little inverse head and shoulder formations. We get a fake breakout and then we fall to new lows. And this is pretty much something that happens each and every time we come back down here. And that's why I'm wondering... You know, are we just going to keep going lower? Right now we're finding support and it's looking a little bit more bullish, which is why I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up getting another break above this. We could get something along the lines of this. I don't really know exactly, but the dollar index looks a little bit more strong. And when I see Ethereum and when I see Bitcoin looking a little bit weaker, you know, I just put two and two together and it appears to me like we could see a little bit of uh, weakness inside of the crypto markets. We could see a little bit of relief coming inside the dollar. At the end of the day, guys, it's hard to say because there's so many factors. One of the biggest factors is the stimulus because there's supposedly going to be another $1.9 trillion worth of stimulus. Obviously, that's going to be good for crypto, which is why you know any correction that we get is just a good time to be buying. And I think that that should be the most important thing that we watch out for. On the bigger time frames, you know, Bitcoin is still in price discovery. Even if we kind of sell back down, I don't think that that changes any of the big picture. Ethereum looks a little bit more weaker. You know, that to me is why I'm leaning towards the bearish scenario here. And so I'll keep you guys updated. This is just kind of my thoughts. This is just what I'm seeing. You know, at the end of the day, I think it's pretty much an indecisive point with me leaning more bearish. And 
so just do your own research guys watch out for the charts this is just my thoughts i just wanted to keep you guys safe just in case we do see some volatility that you guys understand what to watch out for so guys if you've waited this long and you want to understand how to sign up for my VIP groups, I offer two different groups inside of my Discord. I offer the video course and I offer the signals. The video course is going to teach you guys technical analysis, all the drawing on charts inside of a 20-part video series. And then the signals are going to be the ability to copy my entire long-term portfolio, follow each and every trade that I take over this next cycle. And I think that that's going to be the most valuable part. You guys can purchase them together or separate. If you can only pick one, I always recommend going with the signals first because that's going to be the way for you guys to make the money. You guys want to make money in this cycle. And if you want to follow me and follow what I'm doing with my money, the signals are going to be the place for you. Now, on top of all that, guys, if you don't want to sign up for any of my VIP stuff, I do have a free ebook that's also linked in the description as well. You guys can go ahead and sign up, download that. A lot of information in there that I know is going to help you guys out tremendously like it's done for me to help me to become profitable. So once again, links are provided for you in the description. Go check all that stuff out, guys. And with all that being said, I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.